Hello and welcome to this, the first in a short series of videos demonstrating the use of Card Studio. This first video is relatively short and is just an introduction to the user interface that you now see in front of you. This large grey area in the centre here is the design area and when you open new card designs or load existing designs they will be shown here. The sidebar here on the right has shortcut icons to add different elements onto the card design. So the image element is for adding fixed graphics. Uh, this could be a background to the card, it could be a, a corporate logo. The text element adds text onto the card. This can be fixed or dynamic text, and I'll cover more on dynamic text in later videos. Uh, but we can change the font size and the font type using this icon. If we're creating photo IDs, and the photo will change obviously on every card that is printed, we would use the passport element from here. We can capture signatures uh, and include those into the card design. We can also add linear and 2D barcodes. We have uh, shape elements that we can add on, uh, a rectangle or circles or ellipses. Uh, and then if the logo is changing on a card per card basis, uh, then we would use this particular logo. Going across the top, we have the usual file icons. So create a new design, <coughs> open an existing design, save or save as the card designs, undo and redo, then cut, copy and paste. Turn on or the grid lines and then open the settings. So here, again, we can enable the grid lines. We can set the uh, how close the lines appear to each other, <coughs> change the language that the toolbar information is displayed in, and then edit or change the path where the projects are stored. Next to that, then, we have the show front and back. So these next few uh, icons allow you to flick between the front and back of the card or show only one of them. Showing both sides, obviously, is only really applicable if you are printing dual-sided cards. If you want to show just the front, we can use this icon or just the back of uh, this icon. These two then look at layers. So this will show you the design layer and this will show you the speciality layer that's associated with the ZC350 and the speciality ribbons. So with this uh, icon, we could then add uh, text or graphics uh, to be printed on the card using that speciality panel. Here we have the, the zoom icon, so we can zoom closer into the card design. And then from here, we could launch Print Studio. Uh, using the file menu at the top, then we have file. Again, create a new card design, open existing design. And perhaps importantly here, import an existing design from Card Studio version one. And there will be a separate video going through how to do this and what the results look like. Under edit, we have then the undo, the redo, cut, copy and paste. And then here, bring an element to directly to the front or to the back of the card or send that element backwards or forwards one level. Under view, we can see the card design and the card properties. And they will again become more apparent when we actually start loading or creating card designs. Under options, we have the settings, the menu we already looked at from the shortcut here. And then we have the option to uh, log in or out of the, the improvement program for the software. Under help, then we have the option to review the help files, to view the software change log, so we can see the updates that have happened to the software. We can look at the license information. Uh, and this is uh, important if you need to report issues uh, to technical support, they may ask for your license uh, information. Uh, but also from here, we can deactivate the license on this particular PC. We can upgrade to a higher level of the software if we needed to, or we can purchase a license number. The last option here then is about design studio. Uh, and here we can actually see the version number. And again, this may be important when you're working with tech support. 
So that was uh, the introduction to the user interface. The next video will then talk about opening or creating a new card design and adding elements into it. Uh, thank you very much.